Welcome back to Duke of Copy TV. I'm Elaine Stenson and I'm joined in the studio now by Tammy Rosso, who's head of the Media Communications Department at Webster University here in Geneva. She's joining me now to discuss how wealth is represented in the media. Tammy, you're very welcome to the studio. Thank you, Elaine. So we're going to start by looking at the banking industry and at bankers. Do you think they were scapegoated during the economic crisis of 2008? During the economic crisis of 2008, I believe that they're partly scapegoated, but it's also the people in general, the public, who are portrayed as also being held responsible and accountable yeah. for what has happened because we've allowed it to happen. So yes, um, certain media productions are going to, um, and I'm particularly thinking of capital, Okay, um, in which you've got bankers, financial institutions, which are seen as consciously going out to harm us. Yes. You know, these are the yes. conscious evildoers who know what they're doing, you know, and as if it's a conspiracy. Care. Right. Yes. Right. So I, it's a tough question. Yes, there is scapegoating, but there's also scapegoating of policymakers, regulators, academics. Yeah. Credit agencies, the whole. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, to take it further, obviously, you know, uh, it, it, your institutions in a capitalistic society are going to have to run according to this, um, you know, uh, profit motive. So um, probably we could just about point our fingers at any institution and say, oh, it's you. Yes. Right? You, know, you guys are the responsible ones. You did it. And how influential is the media and was the media during the economic crisis of 2008? Was there a lot of scaremongering going on? A bit. A bit. Obviously, I think that um, people are, are generally becoming more aware of how the system works. Yes. Um, so that sort of gives an opportunity um, to go in and use that awareness in order to sort of frame the issues mm -hmm. in the ways that they want. Yes. So in certain um, documentaries, there is, I'm not gonna say a, a conscious attempt to scare people. I don't think that's what anybody does when they're producing media content. They don't, unless you're doing horror, yes. of course. Um, so I don't think there was this, you know, you know, we gotta scare people so that they do something about it. I think it's more of a, an awakening, yes. right? So that, in fact, it's saying, you know, you're responsible, I'm responsible, we're all in this together. What do we do now? Okay, okay. And I want to talk about how wealthier sectors of society are portrayed in the media. Do you think they're underrepresented? Do you think they're overrepresented? I think, Elaine, that depends on how we're going to define wealthy. Yes. I think if we're looking at the, like, if we call the top 1% of society, the wealthy, I think they are probably um, underrepresented, okay? If we're looking at what we want to consider a good salary and really would be like upper, your upper middle class, and you're looking at a six-figure salary, yeah. um, I think they are probably overrepresented. Yes. Okay, yes. and um, you have to sort of, once again, go back to this idea of where am I going for my information? Okay. Okay, am I going to mainstream media? If I'm going to mainstream media, I'm going to get a certain picture, right? Um, and the picture I'm going to get will generally be relatively positive, right? Okay. Um, you know, that, um, Wealth is seen as something we should strive for, okay? Um, and if you go to the more alternative or the pay channels or what have you, um, you're going to get another picture. And it's going to be less positive, okay? okay. And probably more critical. Okay. Okay, Tommy. Well, I just wanted to ask you to mention your upcoming Media Trends Conference, which is 
Privacy Technology and Media, which will be the fifth annual one at Webster University in Geneva. Can you give our viewers a brief summary? I can, yes. it will indeed. Okay, so um, what we're looking at, I mean, we're a variety of issues, but you know, from offshore safe havens and how you know um, huge databases can hide these things, to social media monitoring of employees, to marketing to niche audiences and all of this. Um, and obviously all of these things in terms of commercial business banking I mean it's it's all furthering commercial interest okay this collection of data yes. um, that being said we're also going to be looking at whistleblowing and government and media relations and what's in the public interest to reveal or not to reveal cyberspace cyber crime uh, business commercial interest media invasion and global regulatory developments and we've got our keynote set Okay, Tammy, that sounds very exciting. And um, thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. And that's all we have time for for now, but do check back later for further updates and interviews from the Duke of Scotby TV team. Bye for now.